Otherwise, you wouldn't show up. If I had a flame, you would come and laugh at me like she did. Just stand here and read this. I really should. Oh, and of course. So let me refute that Anna Mormon argument. There's the original. Sun boat, and so they hold their hands up to shield their eyes. Now this is the this is what you were asking about. The Faith is the principle of Here's the church that I'm going to be speaking at. It's a lovely building. Holy cow, look at all these silly people. And there's Brother Mortola. Wave. How you doing? Yeah, there's the man. <laughs> there's his lovely girlfriend. And who are you guys? And his lovely friend. We're all his lovely friend. Anyway, how many do you think? 20? 20? 60? 60 or 70? You silly people, don't you have anything better to do? I feel your pain. Thanks everybody again really going to be an awesome FAT. We have with us Brother Kerry Shirts, all the way from Idaho. You drove down so you could speak with us. That was really nice of him. <laughs> Just to give you a little background on Brother Kerry Shirts, he's a native to Idaho. He was born and raised there. He served an LDS mission to Missouri, St. Louis, and is married and has two children. He works in Idaho Falls for a local credit union, and he's always been interested in researching the scriptures and refuting anti-Mormons. That's kind of what he does. He loves it. Um, he has a bachelor's degree in history from Idaho State University. And uh, for those who are familiar with FAIR on the internet, which is the Foundation for Apologetic Information and Research, he's one of the original founders of that. And just so there's no um, misunderstandings, when it's apologetic, that means defending the church, not apologizing. So um, he has a blog, and he uses Facebook and YouTube to get the, the gospel out there. Um, to all the world, and so he's uploaded over 890 videos on YouTube, and has hundreds of different scholarly papers on his blog, if you want to check that out. His favorite book of scripture is Pearl of Great Price, Book of Mormon, D&C, Bible, Prophets and Apostles, so the all the above. Um, and he is without a doubt a mere 49 years old, so if we could just give it up for Brother Kerry Shirts. <laughs> I have a wonderful talk tonight. I'm going to talk about my favorite scripture. I'm going to bore you all to death, so I'll make it fast. I won't talk past midnight. They told me I have till 8.30, so once I get started, I do not shut up because there is so much that is so exciting that's coming out right now. Um, I want to call your attention to this book, stack of books right here. This is out of my library. These are books that have been published within just the last decade on just the Pearl of Great Price. The brand newest one. Am I going to this stack over? Is 1100 pages. It's eight and a half pounds. I can do curls with this thing, man. <laughs> I can get some biceps. Just on the book of Moses alone. 
1,100 pages. Now, we can read the entire Pearl Great Price in one evening. It's the thinnest book of scripture, but it takes a lifetime to comprehend. This is by Jeff Mark Bradshaw, a good friend of mine. He spent four years of his life putting this book together, discussing the various aspects of just the book of Moses. Uh, how big is the book of Moses? Maybe eight, nine pages. He lists 1,100 pages of some of the most stellar scholarly research I have ever read. The LDS scholarship has come of age. We have arrived. Our LDS scholars are seriously good at explaining to us what the scriptures are about from an academic point of view. They interact with the world scholars. I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not. Out of, and I'm not quite sure if this number is correct, the new international Dead Sea Scroll team that they put together in the early 1990s, once they got all of the Dead Sea Scroll fragments together and published, they found them in the 1940s. It took them until the 1990s to publish all of these. They've invited four LDS scholars to be on that International Dead Sea Scroll team. Four of them. No other religion is so represented anywhere in the Dead Sea Scroll team. There are as many LDS as there are Jewish scholars on this team. It is breathtaking how the LDS scholarship has just taken off and gone to the celestial. Hopefully they'll come back so that we can enjoy the works. But with this 5,100 pages, you know, it might take you a couple of weeks to knock that off, to read it all. We are living in the... <laughs> Stand up and take a look. I know, you don't believe it. You look at that. <laughs> we have been so blessed with such good scholarship. Jeff's book came out two weeks ago. Another one of these books by Hugh Nibley, the one he turned around, the one that I'm going to give you some of the information from tonight, came out about three weeks ago. He had worked on this particular book for 25 years. And I know the editors in the book say it was 15. I know better. Because he did a series of lectures in 1990, and it was video recorded. It was tape recorded. And there were 12 tapes. 12 uh, cassette tapes that they recorded on. And I got a hold of those tapes, and while I was out in my workshop doing my woodwork and all that jazz when I was a woodworker, I would listen to those tapes over and over and over again, and I was astonished at how much I learned. Well, his book's way beyond what his cassette tapes ever dreamt of being. It's simply magnificent what is going on right now. And what I want to do is I want to focus, in, in, in a way it's kind of obnoxious of me, and, I'm not going to apologize. I'm going to focus on, these are the uh, facsimiles, in the book of Abraham. Now, our book of Abraham is unique because, think about it this way. These, these are genuine Egyptian documents from ancient Egypt. They really are Egyptian documents. This is facsimile number one. This is what they call a hypocephalus facsimile number two because the Greek, uh, Champollion, when he discovered it, he called it by the Greek name. Hypo means under underneath. Cephalus, of course, is the head. So these cushions, these little round cushions, they were just so big. They were